Hi, I'm Simon, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Dublin. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can get your Amazon RDS instance out of the incompatible parameter state. First, I'd like to show you how to recognize this state in the current RDS console. Okay, let's have a look. As you can see, I am currently logged in to the AWS management console. You might notice that the RDS link appears on the main page if you have visited the RDS section of the console. If you don't see this link, just enter RDS in the search bar. Now let's navigate to an instance that we've already prepared that's already in an incompatible parameter state. Note the cog on the right hand side of the screen. Choosing this will display a drop-down menu where you can toggle the status of your instance on or off. As you can see, I already have this enabled. As you can see, I've already created an instance called Video Instance. This is in an incompatible parameter state. Let's choose the instance link to see more. From the instance page, we can see that the instance is in the incompatible parameter state as expected. If we check the logs and events page, we can see an RDS generated event that shows when the instance was placed into the incompatible parameter state. If we check the configuration page, we can see that the parameter group status is showing as pending reboot. This is because the instance was unable to reboot correctly in order to apply the custom parameters. A common cause of this is setting a memory variable to a value larger than the memory available to the current DB instance class. Incompatible parameters are a terminal instance state, which means that the instance is stuck in this state until we manually intervene. As long as the instance remains in this state, I'll be unable to connect to my instance. If we look at the currently available instance actions, the only options I can choose from are reboot, delete, take snapshot, or migrate snapshot. This can be caused by an instance that's scaled to use an instance type that has less memory available than the previous configuration and at least one of the memory settings in the associated parameter group exceeds the memory size available for the current instance. A database engine that's upgraded to a different version and the engine is no longer compatible with one or more parameter settings of the current custom parameter group. At this point, you might ask what options are available to revert the changes and bring your instance back online. To resolve this issue, you'll need to change the value of each incompatible parameter to a compatible value. To do this, you can use the following options. Reset all the parameters in the associated parameter group to their default values. Change the values of customized parameters that you know are causing the issue. These are generally memory related. Before attempting any recovery action, however, I suggest that you review the DB instance or instances that this parameter group is currently associated with. This is to be sure that no unintended consequences occur from your changes. A best practice is to create a copy of the parameter group so that you can associate the new parameter group to any other instances that share the current configuration. You might also want to compare this parameter group with the default or another custom parameter so that you get a better idea of the parameters that are causing the issue. Let's start with the easiest approach, which is to reset all custom parameters to the default back. Copy the name of the parameter group from the instance page. Select the parameter group from the list or filter by the parameter group name in the search field. Select the parameter group checkbox. Choose the parameter group drop down for the parameter group actions. Optional, copy the current parameter group. Optional. Enter a new parameter group name and description. Optional, choose copy to confirm. Select reset. Choose reset to confirm. Navigate back to the instance page. 
To apply the parameter group changes, select the DB instance and then reboot the instance. When the instance has rebooted, it might temporarily appear to be backing up if the instance was recently created and associated with the custom parameter group. While the process we just completed is the fastest remediation, any dynamic parameters will be automatically applied to all instances that are associated to this parameter group. You can use the newly copied parameter group to further investigate the parameter that caused the incompatible parameter state. If you've recently modified your parameter group, you might already know which parameter caused the instance to enter the incompatible parameter state. If this is the case, then the above option is likely overkill. In this scenario, you might want to just modify the individual parameter and then reboot your instance so that your modifications take effect. To find the default parameter value so you can make the change, you can compare your current parameter group or the newly copied parameter group to an existing or default parameter group. Note, for a quick list of memory parameters, you can review the RDS documentation to see how to set parameters using formulas or expressions so that your parameters will dynamically scale up and down as your instance class changes. You can find further details regarding how to compare parameter group settings and how to recover from the incompatible parameter state issue in the RDS section of the Knowledge Center article. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.